Hey everyone, I am Mike Witt from Contact Industries and today we're gonna do a quick video about bollards and the different types and impacts they can have for your facility. The first type of bollard that we're going to discuss today is the fixed post bollard. Um, so these are the types of bollards that you'll either see from manufacturers or even home built ones that are made out of schedule 40 pipe and concrete. Uh, but usually you'll see these uh, outside of convenience stores or any kind of fixed uh, commercial facility. Uh, where uh, the, the main intent is not necessarily a criminal intent, um, but is to protect their storefronts. Um, so usually you'll see those placed there. Benefits of them is uh, they are low cost compared to the other options out there. The downside primarily is that should your landscape change, you're gonna have to completely dig them out and remove them. Usually best to put those in uh, pre-construction um, is obviously going back in post-construction. Those are usually buried several feet deep. You have to punch through concrete and asphalt and all that fun stuff. So, uh, but that's the first type is the fixed post bollard. The second type is the shallow mount bollard. So these types of bollards are usually only, they're only gonna come from a uh, manufacturer of bollard and barrier systems. There's not really a, a great homegrown type uh, solution out there. With these bollards, the main benefit is that they're ideal for the installer themselves. So when they're going into installation, uh, whether it's, you know, pre-construction of your facility or even you're doing a retrofit after the fact. The main benefit is they're not having to dig down nearly as far. Why does that matter? Usually this matters for areas where you're, uh, where you're running a bunch of utilities in the area. So if you have a uh, conduit for, you know, uh, for electrical power, data, uh, water lines, anything like that. Um, so they try to keep a low profile. Um, again, these will usually be in areas where your, your setup, your layout is not going to change. And, uh, the main benefit again is gonna be for the installer. Typically, you're not gonna find high performance shallow mount bollards, uh, the N M50 type, which will stop like semi trucks. Um, they do exist, but they're few and far between compared to what they're usually designed for, which is pedestrian type vehicles. The third type is the removable bollard. So what's cool about these is these are awesome for areas where you're doing dynamic type events where sometimes you might need actual vehicles to be able to flow through here pretty frequently, uh, but it's exactly how it sounds. Um, usually there is a casing in the ground in which that is always permanently there, but then you have the ability to either bring in um, most of them are just done by hand, uh, but you're going to carry in your bollard or have forklift or other kind of machinery to help reinstall them. But again, they're removable. So you have the ability to put them in, take them out when, um, you know, as your landscape varies. Um, so definitely recommend for um, things like arenas, stadium, stuff like that, um, schools. Again, if you foresee your layout or your traffic flow and stuff having to change in the future, great option um, for those types of facilities. And the final type is the retractable bollard. Um, so this is kind of like the, the Cadillac of bollards. Um, and usually you'll see them uh, often around things like parking decks, uh, things of that nature, where again, you, you have the, um, the need to change traffic flow when you're gonna uh, you know, allow uh, vehicles into an entrance or out of an exit and that sort of thing. So these typically are, there's really two main methods for operation, either hydraulic or electric. Not gonna get into all the benefits and pros and cons of, of those types that can be a completely separate video. But again, the main thing is that you have all the benefits of, of a removable baller, um, but you're not putting in manpower resources to raise and lower them. You're simply hitting a button, it's engaging the operator, and it's gonna raise and lower your bollards. And these have the capability of going from everything from your small uh, POV vehicles all the way up to your M50 um, type uh, uh, barrier defense for again 15 to 20,000 pound uh, vehicles. With that being said, that wraps us up for uh, the different types of bollards that we offer here at Contact Industries from a variety of manufacturers. So feel free uh, to reach out with any questions. You can email us at info at contactindustries.com and we'll be happy to help you.